Hey everyone, before we get started, I'm giving away a BTAX 204 Ultra to one of you. All you have to do is watch the video and leave a comment below. That's it. I'll pick a winner randomly from the comments, so good luck. In this video, I'll walk you through how I power my BTAX 204 Ultra using a custom setup. This uses a few mining parts, not originally made for the Bitex, but with some clever tweaks and cooling, it works great. Parts I'm using 5.5 millimeter DC barrel, connector, cable, HP, server, power supply, ATEX Molex breakout board, originally used for SATA HDD mining like Chia, HP ATEX six pin breakout board, meant for GPU mining. Step one. Cooling the HDD breakout board. The Bitax 204 Ultra can draw between 7 to 15 watts, so cooling is important. I start by modifying the ATX Molex breakout board to keep it cool during operation. This board has cooling zones on the PCB, which is great. I soldered on some Bitmain S17 chip heat sinks directly to those zones. If you're using aluminum heat sinks, you'll need thermal adhesive or thermal glue. I'm using 138 degrees Celsius low temp thermal paste and a heat gun set to around 350 to 360 degrees Celsius to help attach the heat sinks easily. Then I glue a small cooling fan on top of each heatsink for active airflow. This makes the board much more stable and efficient during operation. Tip, don't power more than four Bitax 204s from one of these boards. Always monitor your temperatures when you first run the system. Step 2. Modifying the power output. Next, let's prep the power cable that goes to the Bitax. From the Molex cable that comes with the breakout board, remove the 12 volt wire. Keep the 5 volt red and ground black wires. Cut off the SATA connector. Solder the wires to the 5.5 mm barrel connector to match the Bitax's power input. Now we've got a clean custom 5V supply for the Bitax.
Step 3. Designing and printing enclosures. I designed and 3D printed custom boxes to house each component. HP power supply and HP breakout board, Molex breakout board, Bitex units. The Bitex enclosures are made to slide into each other so I can expand the system uh, easily by adding more Bitex units uh, later. Step four, wiring everything up. Here's how everything connects. Take a six pin, 12 volt cable from the HP breakout board and plug it into the eight pin Molex breakout board. Connect the Molex cable to the Molex board. Finally, connect the 5.5 millimeter DC power cable to the Bitax. And that's it. The system powers on cleanly, stays cool, and can scale up with more Bitaxes as needed. Disclaimer, power and safety. First, please be extremely careful when working with electricity, heat and custom hardware. Always calculate your power needs. Stick to the 80% power rule. This setup works well for up to four Bitex 204 Ultras with active cooling. It may not be safe for more powerful Bitex versions like the Supra, they need different power handling. Monitor temperatures and connections to avoid damage or fire hazards. Take your time, double check everything, and be safe. That's it for the build. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment to enter the Bitax giveaway. Thanks for watching.